Welcome to MP3 Info 2.0. After Apple has killed the contextual menu modules, we had to find a clever way to bring the wildly popular MP3 Info to Snow Leopard. And we came up with a brilliant little app that launches in a snap and is well integrated into the macOS. Let me show you how easy it is to use the new MP3 Info. Select one song file in the Finder. Then use the context menu or the global services menu to quickly open MP3 Info. In the beautiful main window, you can grasp all important tags contained in that song file at once. Starting on the left with the cover art, should you see only a generic icon here, but full cover art in iTunes, you know that iTunes again didn't store that cover art in the actual song file, but only in its private library. Bad iTunes. All other important tags of the song are displayed throughout the window in several groups. Here the duration and bitrate, and the song title, artist, album, track number, also composer, year, genre, comment and encoder application are shown here, all in one nice window. If the song contains lyrics, the lyrics button is enabled and will show you a nice extra window with the full lyrics. There you go. Close that again at any time, of course. And you will notice that MP3 Info can also give you the textual description of a podcast. Beautiful. Now, to tell the world of the song that you are currently playing, we have added a cool new Tweet button here. Just one click and everyone knows what music you like. This feature uses your web browser and your Twitter account. There you go, post it. With MP3 Info, you now have the choice of following your current Finder selection or even working directly with Apple's iTunes. That includes the currently playing song or the selected title. Okay. Or the selection. So you can click around in iTunes and MP3 Info will follow you. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of course, you can resize the MP3 info window if you don't want to see certain items. Just drag it to your preferred size and location. It is that easy. And MP3 info can even do a lot more for you. We have thrown in a close connection to the popular media cataloger CD Finder. With just one simple click, you can find all similar songs in your archive. Let's try the song title, The Logical Song. Yep, I have a lot of different versions of that song in my catalog archive. Hmm. Or let's find all Supertramp songs. Oh yeah, plenty of them. Hmm. Or maybe even the songs for a certain year, or genre, or whatever. That is pretty cool. Sometimes the name of a song file isn't really revealing about its content. Wouldn't it be nice to have an easy way to rename the song file decently? Yes, that would be nice and MP3 Info can help you with that. Select one of several possible name schemes and the file will get a new name with just one click. That was simple indeed. While MP3 Info can only display the meta tags, what if you want to edit them? There are three major tools for this task and MP3 Info can connect to all of them with this menu here. Use either the slightly older ID3X or the tagger or MediaRage. All three can be launched directly from inside MP3 Info. And of course, MP3 Info also supports M4A or AAC audio files created by iTunes, as well as ringtones and AIFF songs, as you can see here, with a full set of tags and even Windows WAV files, whatever that is. MP3 Info uses the proven and high performance audio code from CD Finder, and that made it possible for us to offer MP3 Info for free. Of course, we do appreciate a small donation and will buy chocolate for the development team. 
Now, just download and enjoy MP3 info.